Your Excellency Jawesh Ashraf, High Commissioner of the Republic of India, my parliamentary colleagues, Mr. Ang Hinki, Mr. Sido Yipin, Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good evening. I am honoured to join you here today to mark the momentous occasion of India's 70th Republic Day. India's journey of nationhood is remarkable and memorable. Today, India has emerged as one of the world's most dynamic economies, developing at a great pace and keeping at the forefront of technology and social innovation, while preserving its rich heritage. Singapore has always believed in India's potential, and we are heartened to see India's rapidly advancing and contributing to the region and the world at large. On this joyous occasion, it is fitting to celebrate the long-standing and deep friendship between our two countries. India was amongst the first countries to recognize Singapore in 1965, and this year marks the 54th year of diplomatic relations. Over the decades, both countries have built a strong cooperation founded on deep common interests and shared values. But we did not rest on our laurels. Prime Minister Narendra Modi visited Singapore twice last year, first to deliver a keynote address at the Shangri-La Dialogue and later to attend the regional summits during Singapore's ASEAN chairmanship. Prime Minister Modi also officiated at the Singapore's FinTech Festival in November. Last year around this time, Prime Minister Li Xianlong visited India for the ASEAN India Commemorative Summit and to attend India's 69th Republic Day Parade as chief guest along with other ASEAN leaders. These high-level interactions have prom prompted significant strides in our strategic partnership, especially in trade and investment, defence, smart cities, connectivity and skills development. We identified fintech and innovation as a new pillar of our strategic partnership. And under this pillar, we launched efforts to promote interoperability between our payment systems, a joint working group on fintech, and a India-Singapore hackathon. These growing areas of cooperation will drive our partnership in the years to come. There is also scope for us to expand our cooperation in digital technologies to other sectors such as healthcare. India's success in implementing its ADA digital identity system has opened up many possibilities to expand health services to citizens from patient registration to digitizing medical records. Singapore has similarly begun to use technology to transform our healthcare. Our Ministry of Health recently launched a mobile phone application called Health Marketplace, where nurses are matched to patients at home who need nursing care. This allows us to move towards providing medical care beyond the hospitals to the community. We are also focusing on the use of predictive analytics to monitor patients' conditions, which will allow for proactive early intervention to support our patients. For a start, India and Singapore could share our experiences in developing and applying these new technologies. I know that India will be hosting the fourth summit of Global Digital Health Partnership next month, which Singapore will be participating in. I wish India a successful event, and I look forward to expanding cooperation with India to improve the quality of life for our people. High Commissioner, ladies and gentlemen, I once again congratulate India on this occasion of your 70th Republic Day. After the national anthem, I would like to propose a toast to His Excellency Ramnath Kovin, the President of the Republic of India. <laughs> 